Hey folks, welcome back to another Dice Tower Preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at Bouquet, which is brought to you by Rough Draft Games. It's for three to five players, ages 14 and up, and games generally run about 15 to 20 minutes. A game of bees, blossoms, and bluffing. Bouquet is a strategic and dynamic area control game where competition blooms into beauty. On your turn, you will either place petals in the bouquet, pluck your opponent's petals, or draw more petals into your hand. Petals may be placed either face up, which gives certain abilities to particular petals, or face down, which allows you to ignore placing requirements at the cost of having those abilities active. With multiple petal types to choose from, each with their own point value and abilities, you will have to carefully consider how to place each petal into the bouquet. Placement matters, as certain petals will be awarded extra points if they are touching new blooms or the vase that your bouquet will be placed in. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. So to start the game off, you'll be just putting the main bud in the middle of the table. Players will be adding the different petals to that. And once you have five consecutive petals, then you'll add another half bud and eventually add another half bud as you put more and more petals out there. And then the vase will come into play at the end of the game. What's neat about the side buds is that it will lock those petals into place and you'll get extra points for having your petals connected as well as the vase. You'll have a multiplier for the points of the different petals there. Now you have four different types of petals and they're going to do various things but first let's take a look here we have just your standard petal which is just nothing and you can play again you can play these petals face up or face down playing them face down has no requirements on where and how you place them but the basic ones are worth one point and you can use them however you see fit now also you have the most important well one of the most important is the B petals because they're worth three points and when you place these face up they have to go in between two petals and that's the only way you can put them out when they're face up and they're going to be a very crucial way of getting points through the game and then you have do petals which are worth four points at the end of the game and when you place those face up they have to be across the bud so there has to be a petal on the other side opposite of where you place the do petal and then finally you have the wilted petals and the nice thing about playing these face up is that you allow you to draw up to your hand limit of five cards when you put those into play now there's all kinds of things that we'll take a look about when you pluck these but the really downside about having these in play is the fact that you'll get a negative two points for every wilted petal so that's how placing different petals around the buds is going to work however on your turn you have options you have three options you can place a petal you can pluck a petal or you can simply draw petals back into your hand because they are your card deck after all so things start to get interesting when you pluck petals. So in order to pluck a petal, you have to discard one of your petals from your hand, and then you can go after one of your fellow players. Now, a general rule here is that you cannot directly pluck a face-up bee or any petals that are locked by half buds. So those are things to keep in mind. Now, if there is a do petal out there, you can pluck that and then the two cards or two petals next to it will also be removed, including a face up B. Now, if you pluck a wilted petal, then the owner of the wilted petal will get to place two more of their petals into the bud. However, if you pluck face down petals that happen to be the B or the Dew, then you, the player that plucked them, will get to place one of your petals out onto the bud. So all neat things to keep in mind as you're putting those petals out and perhaps even bluffing your fellow players by placing some petals face down. If you choose instead to draw cards on your turn, then you can draw up to three. Of course, you have to respect your hand limit of five when doing so. So there's a couple ways for the game to come to an end. If one player runs out of all their petals, that's one way. And some of this is gonna be based on player count, but if you fill, completely fill a bud or both buds, depending again on player count, then that will also bring a game to an end. And what's interesting about how the vase gets placed, the player with the most petals in the discard is gonna be placing the base, hoping to lock in their petals to get multiplier points off of that. And then you'll flip over all petals that are face down and you'll score them and whoever has the most points is going to win. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower Paid Preview, and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form, so keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now, with that said, this is just straight up simply a beautiful game, an amazing tactile experience around building out this flower and the vase, and those placement of those petals, how you choose to put them out face up, face down, some real strategic value there. But what's really interesting to me 
is the fact that you're plucking those petals. And there's definitely some take that there as well with that. But in general, there's some really interesting things that happen when you pluck petals and chain reactions that happen. And I really like that aspect of this game. But folks, ultimately, if this looks like something of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me. And until next time, we'll see you at the table. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like this review or whatever you just watched, wasn't it amazing? Uh, check out our channel, Dice Tower. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We review games, we do top tens, we play games live. It's all about board games, but especially the people who play them. Check out Dice Tower YouTube channel.